Hey, yo. We're doing yet another Players Uncovered uh, profile, and this one's on John FB. He is normally playing in the North American nighttime. Uh, I don't know if he's Australian or what, but he's always on late at night. Probably run into him there. He is currently ranked platinum. Very good player. Uh, we trade pretty evenly whenever we fight. Um, I'll take a series. I'll take a series. So he's quite a good player. Plays Skaven. Fuck yeah. Dark Elves and Lizardmen. I'd say strengths are the diversity of his micro, meaning just everything in his army is going to be moving all the time. And his unique builds. Because the meta is meta, but if you over-prepare for it, he can catch you really off guard with his unique take on some matchups. Uh, my suggestions would be formation distance as an actual suggestion. As a half joke, I would say stop taking unshielded clan rats because I personally like the shielded variants more for their extra melee defense. That's just a joke. From uh, one Skaven main to another. <laughs> so first we'll see him fight Random Nix, Dark Elves, or Speaksman. Uh, traditionally a Dark Elf favored matchup. We'll hit the fast forward real quick. But you can see his entire line is going to move up roughly at the same time. One note on the formation thing is that this side is going to hit much earlier than this side. Uh, maybe should have taken a little bit more time to reorganize the fronts. But... Everything is moving. These units are kept in reserve, but which elves are plenty fast. You see they're going to get to the fight right about when they need to, just as the front lines are collapsing. Even though they were left in the dust, it was apparently calculated that they're just fast. Coldwell Knights plowing into the front. Dark, run, <laughs> Dark Riders just holding off like a million centigores in the Butchers before they die. Brutally, but... Marathian, the Double Manticore, are hunted down Torox. Meanwhile, the archers are kept safe. Colder Knights are here. Witch Elves are kept in the back to route off the Grog Hoofs of Wolves Run. They do get in for a little bit of damage, but the Witch Elves take care of them promptly. You can see a nice surround was created for this little enclave, and then Soul Stealers were cast into it. Just everything within it died horrifically to the Dark Elf Onslaught. And that is a close victory. It's very well played. News when conditions executed them appropriately. Second replay, we get some Skaven versus Dark Elves, John F. B. versus Energize. And he does have a pretty good build, Gracier Double Assassin, a whole bunch of unshielded clan rats. Boo, boo, put shields on them more. Melee defense is good, melee defense. Boo, clan rats. Um, but the rest of it's fine. This is one thing I do have a personal little crusade against, is the one-layered wide box. I personally don't like it very much. As a formation, I think you sh if you're going to box, you either need to keep it tight, because the whole reason you take a box, if you're going to, um, community sentiment about it aside, is it's because you're going to lose the mobile game so hard, you need your support to be nearby. So you only have to cover, like, this distance to help something, whereas um, the Dark Elf Cavalry, to get to that something, you have to go like that. So you have time, while they're doing this long arc, uh, to move what you need to that short distance. But when your, your box gets this wide, personal opinion... If this collapses and you're not getting attacked very heavily on this front, like there's one or two units, the chaff units you don't need have to walk, I'll use a different color, the chaff units you need have to walk this distance, right? Which they're, it's going to take them quite a while. Whereas a, a tighter box, in my opinion, you know, you want like this unit to move to there uh, much shorter. Anyway, regardless. Uh, and single layers are a little tough because they crumple so quickly. Recently I've been running like one unit there and there and there, so then when you break through one you kind of have to fight two, or if you go around one you'll have to kind of... It's no matter what angle of attack you take on that little section, you have to fight two different units, which I think is good. Anyway. He's going to do devastating damage on the approach, poison wind mortars, and a good dreaded 13th summon on two clustered up units is going to delete them immediately and do great work. Gisales are targeting down a bunch of stuff. Stop shooting the Hydra because it's just going to heal up and instead double assassin go, go take care of it. That is a very interesting little pick. Um, didn't know that they would really do that well. Now you can see the single tiered box has started to fall apart because as, as you pull reserves, you start creating holes. And when you create holes, the Dark Elves are going to run straight for him. Ha ha! Ha ha! Dark Elf jokes, but you, you know what I mean. Now there's nothing here to stop these Dark Riders, and they're going to get onto your Gisales. Right? Right. Aside from that, though, the Dark Elf army has taken ridiculous amounts of damage. Like, their lord is almost dead already as she's flying around. Scourge Run Chariots are really the only healthy thing left on the map. And this is good Skaven play. Doing so much damage to your enemy, 
before they even get to you that you can lose the melee fight and still win the battle. As you can see now, just the entire army is routing. There's nothing left for it. No strength besides two Scourge Runners, and those are going to get shot down by the rallying Gisales, who had great target priority. So good stuff there. you love to see it in the final replay for today is Vampire Counts versus Skaven, and John FB is doing the traditional Skaven build that I've recently moved away from. It still works. I just... I've been experimenting and scheming with some other types of builds, um, so playing those is just more fun slash interesting to me right now. Again, we have the same formation, single tiered box. I talked about it in the last video for the same reasons. I'm not a huge fan. It's not a terrible formation, I just don't think it's optimized. Um, it's a better formation than just putting all your units in a straight line, because then they're going to get punched through. But Yar. Giselle switching targets frequently to make sure your opponent has to keep guessing where you're going. Now he's targeting some Black Knights that were momentarily forgotten. Boysman Globes are trying to take care of the front line. Um, yeah, that's going okay. Giselles are doing fine. Poisman Globes killing clan rats for the sake of wounding skeleton warriors and zombies makes me a little sad. But the blob has been activated. The Count's Guard are here. Rat Ogres are here. Double Assassins. They're going to do a lot of damage to this Lord, most likely, if he stays in this area. Meanwhile, Giselles and Poisman Globes are trying to stay online. Some Chaff is trying to protect them, but there's a lot of crumbling going on. And Skaven are actually kind of in a tough little spot. At least this blob is very spooky. Uh, anything that runs into it, you can see, is just dying. Dying, dying horrifically. Some people take Mortis Engines in this matchup. Some people take Dragon Lords instead of Strigoi Lords in this matchup for breath attacks. Um, the Strigoi Lord, you can see, it just does. It, it doesn't have the horde killing potential it needs to get through this area the breath attacks from our single target so this this blob of strength is just sitting here for the skaven while the rallying units do a little bit of harass a little bit more poke damage and soon the vampire counts run out of chaff to throw at the blob leaving just a black coach and the strigar lord they're going to chase some routing units for a little bit but eventually they are going to have to engage the blob the dreaded blob and the engagement comes in very quickly strigar lord dies so does the black coach. That's good. That's good. Build's nice. I like it. It has a lot of what you need. Clan rats doing pretty well overall. Slaves dying for the cause, but assassins getting almost twice their value back. Yeah, love to see it. So that's John FB. Now don't be fooled by what you saw here. Uh, you know. He had Lizardman on his list, and when I've, when I've played him, he's played a lot of different stuff. So it's kind of one of those all-around players. You can play a little bit of anything. Um, watch out for his unique builds. And say hi for me. Okie dokie. Goodbye for now.